checking in with Quincy City Council President, Councilor at Large Noel DeBona, after a special City Council meeting before uh, uh, summer break ended. Hi, Noel. How are you? <laughs> Good morning, Joe. How you doing? Doing all right. You still got you still got the shades on for summer. Yeah, yeah. It's um, happy September. And um, we got a little, you know, heat wave still going on here, which is weird. For the next couple of days, it's going to be hot out there. I know you do the weather reports, but uh, looking somewhere in the mid 80s to high 80s. So uh, maybe even hit 90 one of these days. But um, it's kind of weird. It's been a, a kind of a rainy uh, summer. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, you need to try to enjoy it now, at least. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be tough. Uh, the kids going back to school, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, so why did you have to have a special meeting, Noel? Oh, yes. Our special um, city council meeting was basically about the C Street project. Mass DOT and the federal government is uh, helping us out funding wise. Um, we had to get the special um, meeting in place before the September 11th because they have to put this out to bid and it has to be done by September 30th. It was beneficial for all stakeholders to do this. But really, the deadline was this Thursday, which was September 7th. We had to get the meeting by then. Um, just allows uh, the proper amount of time to get these in. Um, so we did a special uh, meeting um, via Zoom. What allowed all the, the councils to be in the meeting. It was uh, last night on Tuesday, uh, which was great. Uh, it lasted about 30 minutes on September 5th. And um, it's basically about the order um, of easement takings on C Street. Um, there are some area on the sidewalks which will have to be moved um, just for the easement. Some will be permanent and some will be temporary for the future. Um, these were these are much leaded. As you know, um, this will be from the Ginger Bettys all the way up to the Palmer Street. We have already started this project over the last few years um, where they made the right hand turn coming from C Street onto Quincy Shore Drive which was huge. Um, you don't have to wait like two or three cars. You can actually now go at six or seven cars out. So you can take the right hand turn, keeps the traffic flow going. This is the next phase of the project, which is very important for C street. As you know, it's very dangerous over there. They need to get onto some of the sidewalks and, and give it a little bit more um, width on the, the uh, street as well as the sidewalks. So the, these takings, one great thing that the surveyor did is they found out that, you know, there might have been a foot over or maybe, you know, six inches of, of land that was put on these sidewalks and they're going to rectify any of the uh, of, of the property lines for that. So uh, folks will get compensated, um, you know, for some of these uh, easement takings. So it uh, looks like a win win last night vote for the two votes were, were nine zero. All, all, all councilors voting in favor of it. Um, kudos to uh, Solicitor Jim Timmons and uh, Counselor Ward One Counselor Dave McCarthy for, you know, just doing a meeting. They did a meeting about three weeks ago at Quincy High School just to give an overview. And they'll have another meeting in another couple of weeks. And we'll keep more updates on that um, if it affects you on C Street. OK. And uh, when does the project get started? No. So they go out to bid before September 30th. They can get somebody. Depending on obviously the weather and the, the weather conditions, it might not be starting until next March or April, because as you know, as it as the frost comes in, it's just not an area where we can start working on projects. So they're anticipating probably you know mid mid March when the weather breaks into April. So that was you know, so we wouldn't have to worry about the September rush with the uh, kids going back to school and. You know, folks going back off of vacation and stuff here in September. So um, it could be a good month to do some things. Um, again, the timing is very important. Obviously, I, I wouldn't want that project to start tomorrow. <laughs> you know, so um, I, I think it's, it, it, it gives adequate time to get this project moving in the next phase. So and what does it actually involve, Noel? Do you know what the actual work will be? The actual work is going to basically be the easements. They're going to actually have to go on to some, some properties, maybe a foot or two uh, for easements and allow the, the sidewalks to be a little bit wider. Um, there's new federal guidelines. The Mass DOT is going to follow those guidelines. Um, and it's very similar with the downtown when we put in little walkways and stuff. We, we have to go by these guidelines. Also, there's going to be bike lanes 
um, and the road is going to be a little bit increased, a little wider. There will be in certain areas barriers in the middle, and but we're still in the developmental stages of that. These takings will also allow work. Um, some of them will be temporary, and some of them will be permanent. So, some of these easements, you know, will be given back, but um, you know, and over at the Our Lady Good Council Church has been very positive about you know updating that area. And, and at, at the end of the day, Joe, it's a very dangerous street. If we could get uh, proper um, proper sidewalks, proper lanes, proper bike lanes, and, and everything flows a little bit better, it, it'll be safer for not only drivers, pedestrians, anybody walking, anybody bike cycling it. So um, it's the next phase of getting us done, Joe. Okay, very good. And that was that was the only item, right, to discuss last night? That was the only item, Joe, and we'll be back into session uh, Monday, September 1st in person. And then we'll go following week, we'll have back-to-back -back meetings on September 18th, which is a Monday at 6.30 as well, back in the city council chambers. So we'll have back-to-back -back meetings. We'll, we'll be back on and stuff. Um, looking forward to uh, first day of school for Quincy Public Schools for the kids. I believe it's K through 9. And I think 10, 11, and 12 will go in tomorrow. So uh, welcome back to school, all students, teachers, staff, uh, looking forward to a great year. Uh, I dropped my kids uh, off this morning at uh, uh, one goes to the Marymount School, um, which is right down the street from where we live. And then the other one is now going from Athens and Howe going to Squanum. He needs a little bit more services. And that's what's great about the city of Quincy. We got a lot of different schools that have a lot of different services like the Orton Gillinghams and these other speech development classes and stuff. We're also looking forward to possibly opening the uh, the Dr. Richard DeCristofaro Learning Center, which is basically the special education center, it looks to propose to open on January, which will be huge for the city and our, our, our special education kids. It, it, it will be huge. Uh, hopefully my kids will, will benefit as well, um, you know, from all this. You know, as the bus schedule gets moving here um, with kids going back to school and, 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 you know, residents going back to work here from the summer, you obviously know there'll be a little bit more concerns with traffic. So we've we want to make it as flow as possible. And this C Street project will help out with that flow, especially I live two, two houses over, two houses away from C Street. So this will be beneficial for my neighbors and everybody that lives around that area. So um, these are much needed um, projects that need to be done in the city and it'll help out the, you know, the system and all these other systems as well. Very good. What's um what's on the agenda for next Monday? Joe, did you have a good summer? Um, the agenda for next week is pretty light. I'll be honest with you. There are some public hearings and stuff, but it looks like to be a very light agenda coming in. We just had our um, our Wednesday before the meeting meeting of um, of the agenda items, and right now, as we speak, it's not much on there. Sorry, Joe. I know it's not a a lot of stuff on there, but we anticipate more on the agenda items for could possibly be September 18th. We also meet in October, October 2nd and October 16th. So if any agenda items don't come in, you know, hot to you know, topics of, 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 of council orders or resolutions are saying, so we, we have a couple more meetings. Okay. As you know, Joe, we're in, we're in election cycle. So, um, you know, the, the we, we also, the thing about being a politician or, or being a, a counselor or any type of elected official, you got to do the job, which is, you know, you got to do the council meeting. So you got to do the constituent work, but there's also a, a re-election and an election type of cycle, which is a little different where you have to campaign and, and go through the process of getting reelected and elected, which right. I, I yeah. it's, it's a little different, believe it or not, Joe. <laughs> yeah. November 7th uh, for folks who aren't aware, it's uh, city election day. Yes, and you guys do a great job in uh, QA TV with getting information out to folks, and you do really good with you know you know different different um, candidates can come on and, and do their uh, you know you can do the five minute um, uh, introduction into, of yourself as a, as the uh, elected or or running for office. So you guys have been doing a great job over the last month. How you how have you had a good summer of QA TV? How's it been over there, Joe? 
Uh, we've uh, kept busy uh, for sure. We had a summer uh, recreation camp, so the kids were here for a week and had a lot of fun with that. We've uh, certainly kept busy uh, getting ready for the election and uh, a lot of different events at the Ruth Gordon Amphitheater and uh, the different Hancock Adams Comet events that we've been covering. So it's it's always something going on here. And, and that's a great thing. I was just talking to the mayor. We, we sat down on Wednesdays with the auditor, the city clerk, and um, Chris Bow, and then, uh, you know, obviously... Uh, Chief of Staff Chris Walker, as well as um, uh, Jen Manning, which is our, our clerk of committees. We, we talked uh, talking to the mayor a little bit about all the different stuff that we've done across the city. And the Ruth, Ruth Gordon Amphitheater that we had on Friday nights has been unbelievable. Been great turnouts. I attended a few weeks ago. It was, it was a lot of folks just enjoying that. All the Hancock Adams Common, uh, you know, that you guys do. You guys do a great job with all those events. And, um, they're great things that folks can do in the city and come and come out. Um, obviously, we're not there yet, but when we get into the to the lighting of the tree and all those different events, uh, it's beautiful down there with the fountains and stuff. So, we've come a long way, Joe, and uh, you know the city the city's looking great. Well, we look forward to uh, chatting with you uh, throughout the fall, Noel. I know it's going to be a busy one, so uh, we look forward to you getting back in person. And great, Joe, and um, we're looking forward to um, going in September and October and having a having a good um, a good fall, I guess it could call. It. Let's enjoy the next couple of days, though, Joe. I hope you can enjoy it. <laughs> I'll enjoy it in the air conditioning. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? It is really hot out there. You have to, the AC really works. I mean, it really helps. I mean, it's a little humid today too. It already started off humid. I mean, absolutely. It, it's eight fifty three a.m. here. It's eighty degrees this morning already so yeah well summer was a little late getting started this year but i know it is but, you know we're still <laughs> summer but you know what's it's september 21st is the first day of of fall so we're still we're still in the summer it's just we're in such a transition after labor day going back to school no more vacationing really and, and folks going back to work and stuff that's right all right good to talk to you Noel. thanks a lot for the update great talking to you joe and have a great day thank you you too thank you Thank you.